is Albert Luna from ESPN El Paso, uh, Team 600. Here with Jared Vanderbilt, a 6'8", uh, 6'8 guard out of uh, Victory Prep, out of the Houston area. So, uh, Jared, first off, your AAU team this past summer, Houston Hoops, features about eight Division One recruits. Uh, can you talk about your experience with them and, you know, how you've grown as a player? Well, the experience was great. You know, we played against the best talent in the country. You know, we was all uh, D1 material, so uh, playing with the best in the country, you know, you had to know your role, and it gave you a feel of how it's going to be on the next level. So yeah, it was a great experience, you know, play. I mean, it was just the best competition. You couldn't get asked for them better than that, so, yeah. Now, being a, you know, relatively highly scouted player recently, you've had the opportunity to attend, you know, national events like Elite Youth Basketball and also the Pangos All-American Camp. So can you tell us how, you know, now this new national exposure has, you know, affected your game or how it's changed your mindset? Um, I mean, it never changed my mindset. I'm still humble and, uh, you know, I'm still playing like I'm not even ranked. You know, you still got to play hard. So, but yeah, the exposure was great. You know, it got my name a little more out there. And uh, it, it gave me a chance to showcase my talents against the best in the country. Now, speaking of the best in the country, I mean, this season you'll be playing uh, local, uh, in the state of Texas, you'll be playing some stars such as King McClure and Ten Terrence Ferguson, uh, some notable players you'll be going up against this season, So, uh, who are also also nationally ranked in their respective classes. So can you talk about how that high level of competition you're facing almost on a game-to-game -game basis is affecting um, and making you a better player? It's making me a better player because, I mean, playing against high talent every every game, you know, that's how it's going to be on the next level. So it shouldn't be no easy game right now, but playing against the best players in every class, not just my class, you know, it's, it's showing how my, how my game is and, uh, and how good it can be playing against uh, better competition. Now, speaking of your game, is there a particular player that you like to uh, model your career after? Or is, um, are you just your own player? Um, what do you think is the model of your game right now? I mean, right now I say my own player, but I, you know, I'm, I look off of guys like Kevin Durant and uh, Penny Hardaway, and yeah, a little even Lamar Odom. So yeah. Um, now, a little more of a background. Growing up, who do you think was uh, inspired you to, you know, start playing basketball? Was there a specific event? Was it just always a love for the game from the start? Can you talk a little bit about uh, background on you and basketball? Well, yeah, I've been playing basketball since probably I can walk. You know, I used to have a little goal at the house that my mom had, and I just started shooting from then on. I ain't never, I haven't dropped the basketball yet. So. Now, in its brief history, the McDonald's tournament has had, you know, some players such as LeBron Nash and Julian Washburn, who both went Division I, uh, play in the tournament. So, being said that, how do you feel, you know, possibly being up there with names such as uh, those players, and uh, do you hope to eventually, you know, be one of the most popular players to play in this uh, short, this relatively short um, history tor tournament? I mean, yeah, that's the goal, to be, you know, to be a name that uh, people remember. I'm gonna be a, uh, you know, like a has been or he could have been good. You wanna uh, put a name out there for yourself. So, yeah, this is a good outlet for it. All right. Well, Jerry Vanderbilt, uh, this is uh, Team 600 ESPN El Paso. It's been a pleasure, and thanks for joining us today. All right. Thank you. Thank you.